Hey guys, on today's video I just want to show you the different adapters that you can buy for your Mac to have a secondary screen and then how to set it up, which is pretty 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 easy. So, uh, this is an old one, so BGA. So, a lot of screens nowadays only come with BGA for no reason, because they do have HDMI, but they come with the BGA cable, which I suggest not buy an adapter for that. Now, these type of adapters, they they're for everything, whether you have an, a MacBook Pro uh, that's, you know, a late 2011 will have this type of adapter, okay, that you can buy an HDMI for. So this is the HDMI, but it's still the same end, okay. So these are the Thunderbolt Mini Display to HDMI, and this would be to VGA. Okay, so that's VGA, that's HDMI. And, um... Same thing if you have an iMac that's 2009, you have the same port. And if you have the latest iMac, a 5K uh, 2016, same thing. So Apple has kept this consistent, which is a really good thing. So we can buy this pretty easy over eBay, Amazon, or you can buy it directly from Apple. Um, if you do buy it from Amazon or eBay, these guys will not cost you more than four bucks. Obviously on Apple, you will be paying a lot more so uh, you know just buy one of these because <laughs> they cost a lot less and uh, the good thing about these guys they last a very long time this one right here I've had it for three years now that's BGA and this one's brand new this one's HDMI which you guys should get um, so we just plug this into the back okay or to the side if you have a MacBook Pros to the side if you have an iMac it's to the back and then this will go to your screen okay and that's it so to your monitor and this goes to your Mac all right and then I'm gonna show you the setup right here in your Mac okay guys so I'm gonna go really quick so on your computer once you turn it on it's probably mirroring right now so it should work so you should turn on both your Mac and your monitor if you had your Mac turned on I recommend restarting it and um, then plugging it in and start them both up at the same time. Anyways, once you guys do that, go into system preferences. So that's down here below. You guys can just look for it in the spotlight and search. Um, once it opens up, I want you guys, okay, right here it says displays. So right now what you guys probably have is mirror. So you guys probably have this on. So I'm not gonna switch it on right now. <laughs> but what I recommend you guys is taking that off. So take that check mark off and then you guys have this arrangement. So if you have your secondary screen on your right hand side, leave it right there. If you have your screen on your right side of your computer, just put it to the right. Okay, so right now that kind of screwed up my arrangement because it's not like that. And let me just zoom out and just grab that and put it back since my screen is a little bit to the top as well. And um, yeah, so right now, you guys should see two screens. So let me just show you. On your other screen, you guys should see this menu. So let me drag that over. So I drag this over from my other screen. So right now, you guys can't see my other screen. Um, however, right now, you guys have two screens to play around with. So you have your right hand side, that screen, which is your new monitor. And right here, you have your Mac. Okay, so that way, you guys can have two screens working at the same time, so you can watch a movie in one and do another thing in the other. And um, that's the way that most people use them. You can also mirror if you want, so mirror just, you know, you get the same screen on both, which uh, you might want that for some reason, right? <laughs> a presentation or something like that. Or if you're drawing something, showing people. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. Anyways, that's the standard thing. Something that I like to do personally, I'm gonna show you, it's going to color. This is for the monitor that I have on the right hand side. I don't touch the colors on my Mac usually. So my Mac, the color on my Mac is usually what it is. So it's an iMac, so I leave the color display at iMac. And um, for this Acer monitor, what I do is choose Apple RGB. That's a personal preference. That's what I've seen that works well as a graphic designer. The colors that I see on my screen, they they pretty much show me what's going to be printed, okay? Uh, of course, you need your printer to be set up 
nicely and uh, it should work technically. So that's what I've seen that works well for me. Now, you know, some people are going to tell me, no, you should color match it to this and that. Or if you're doing video, you should choose one of these guys, whatever. It's your choice, guys. Just make sure to choose the right one for you or you can just leave it as what it came with if you like those colors but it's all up to you guys from here you're done your arrangement you can just close this up and you're set and ready to go anyways if you guys have any questions comments you can write them down below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you